that we call in here a radical, I wanted to get a video up concerning San Diego. And I was like, I want to put a video up concerning post ignorance, because the Fukushima fight, my path full of leukemia, my path as an artist, my path as a cancer survivor, my path as a human rights activist, my path as an anti-nuker, always have been. And anybody that doesn't believe in my activism hardcore, you watch this video. I went into a coma that night. I didn't stop and Blue Castle hates me because of this video. They were doing their PR campaign at the exact same time. People didn't even know what freaking Blue Castle was. They typed in, they got me, that. So I want to talk about being in San Diego and I thought, well, I want to put a piece of my original post-ignorance art because what we're up to is painting with the soup and whatever, that's abstract post-ignorance. Has very little to do with post-ignorance, but everything to do with post-ignorance. It's very abstract and you know, it's retro materials, it's fast, it's quick. I want people to understand that the post-ignorance art movement of mine, which was started in 1992, is art that some of my paintings I spent years on, literally. And I thought, well, I need to put up one of mine that I haven't shown before. Well, I'm getting my oil changed right over here and need my, my car inspection, blah, blah, blah. I'll be in San Diego at noon tomorrow. I land at noon. I think Laura Still's gonna give me a ride or one of these other actors is gonna give me a ride. I'm staying at Pacific Beach. It's gonna be organic. We'll be at the USS Reagan hearing on the 19th. It's where my radio show will be live from there as I was there all summer last year at the hearing. I'm the only one that was there, the only activist, the only, I mean anything, I mean, I was the only one. I have the transcript, by the way, was sent to me by a great activist down there. So I have great hope and I, I think a lot of organic stuff's gonna come out. We'll just grow it, you know, as it is. And I thought, well, I want, and I thought, well, right around the corner, because why? I have 10,000 of these. This is a fresco, a real fresco. This is a friend of mine's art studio. It's an old rundown thing that he remodeled and he wanted to make it look, you know, hundreds of years old. That's real plaster, real hawk and trial. I have 10,000 of these around Ogden, including the tree in the Children's Museum Award winning. That's made, by the way, the young man that helped me with that a lot, his father, the chair of the finance department at our university here, he has leukemia now. But I wanted to talk about my art. My post-ignorance is very sophisticated, very, I mean, take some of my paintings took years, years. Very detailed, very intricate. You see that first one that goes right, I did that in 1993, I believe, and I called that the nuclear vagina, the nuclear triangle, and wow, was I seen it then. Japan, Russia, United States, the nuclear triangle. By the way, the guy that's our studio here is right there. When I was doing those paintings, he would tell me all that. Kevin, leave that wide alone. You're getting, no, 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 no. Anyway. So I'll be in San Diego. I land at noon at my favorite airport in the world, my favorite place. I don't want to talk about San Diego, San Diego County, why we got San Onofre shut down, and Weber County the way it was, and kind of like Alberta is now in Canada, as I see. These guys were ranchers, farmers, not ranchers and farmers what it's evolved in today, which they're nothing but exploiters. They're exploiters, hairsprayed, riding on tractors, exploiting land. No, 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 no. These were sophisticated. This place was rich, like San Diego County. I used to go back and forth, my father on nuked to death San Onofre in the hospital in San Diego. Go back and forth, my ties, Pacific Beach was a farm community, it was incredible this, oh my God. But that element still exists in San Diego County and Western Weber County, it's gone. It was very similar because they were both rich, they were both freak ranchers of farmers, they both came from incredible culture, art, environment, wealth, and these people that dressed up like cowboys and whatnot, you know, you see them dressed like this on purpose, try to go to Delmar. Now, old Delmar was so freaking amazing back then, but now that's why San Onofre got shut down. That's why it has to be San Diego. That element still exists there. It doesn't exist here. They all left. But we, I mean, these people are from the salt of the earth. They're, yeah, they're, they're cowboys and they're ranchers and they're farmers, but they're sophisticated, they're intelligent, they're writers, they're poets, they're artists, they're environmentalists, and they're anti nukers now you get the hillbilly, <laughs> I mean, it's all false bravado, drugstar cowboys on Balco, that's all they are. All these guys dressed up, iron, pretty cowboys, it's pathetic, it's pathetic. But San Diego, this is a big deal at USS Reagan, and it's just simply a hearing to say if it goes forward or not goes forward, because if it goes forward, same with San Onofre, it was a big deal because, and by the way, Barbara Boxer, we want PG&E executives in jail. They lied to the NRC under earth. Those are felonies, those are felonies. Those, and I'm hoping some of her people meet up with me. You have my phone number. So I'll be there for at least a week. I'm staying at Pacific Beach. I'll walk down Pacific Beach every night. You know, we'll do whatever we do. I'm within walking distance. 
from that incredible pier is like, I mean, walk, talk about the activists they did down there last year, just because you don't see it. I've been up and down that coast. I've been on Huntington Beach. I've been on the water, all over, up and down. Just because you haven't watched and paid attention, I've been there on the YouTube videos to prove all of it. But this is a, one of my pieces with my all cement stucco. I never switch to the fake ephus and the styrofoam. Never, never, never. I have 10,000 of them. I love this one, by the way. By the way, shh, the artist that did this stiffed me, and he's a pretty flower painter. Yeah, typical artist. <laughs> well, they say they're artists. See you tomorrow, my favorite airport. Oh, I love that San Diego. I love San Diego. You can see why everybody's there. It's overcrowded. Oh, yeah. But I know where to go, and I know what to do, and I know where to hang. I know the secret places, because I've been hanging. I was hanging there before the freeway even went there. You know, back and forth here and there. Oh, yeah, San Onofre on Camp Pendleton. Oh, my father marched in the Nevada trenches from here, nuked to death. You know, they all woke up in hospitals in San Diego, cut their tonsils. I don't even have a cancer study. I plan on some great activism. I have a really good feeling about this this year. Groundhog Day every day. And I'm starting to feel I've been able to reflect on some of my videos now. I've never watched my videos outside the hospital room, ever, until yesterday. I just had tears running down my cheeks. Thank you to everybody who supported me along this way. Stacy Anderson, Diana Steele, who've been there from day one. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you. you, you I mean, I love you guys so much. You stood by my side through all of it, through all of it. You know, I feel like I'm trying, I, I finally feel like I'm starting to relax and get out the other end of this disease. I honestly do. And I write books, lots of books. I mean, Lonnie Clark, thank you so much. That, my new trailer on my intro, that we did that all improv, all improv. I didn't know she had that, her puppet. She pulled it out. Wow. Effective, that's what this is about, effective activism. We're not a popularity contest, and the fewer the better. Oh, yeah, nothing ever happened from the masses. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, the few, the proud, the honorable, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Semper Fi. See you in San Diego tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. Stay tuned.